Uh, the thing for me was about uh, making the most of an opportunity. By being in a family business from the time when I was probably about 10 and every school holidays, that would be my thing. I'd come in with my dad and doing little things, whether it was being a nuisance or cutting glass. Dad would teach me the basics. I'd go out in the truck with him, came to work in the family business, took to it like a duck to water and it just sort of grew from there. When I bought the first Intermac machine, which was the Genius CTRS cutting table, it was far exceeding what my business at the time required. But I considered the extra investment provided me with an option for, for growth. And I can grow several times over again, and this machine will service anything that I need it to. That was what the, the first machine did, but then the, in, in resolving one bottleneck, you create another bottleneck which was then the processing of the glass that we cut to make the showers and, you know, and other associated products. And then that's when we bought the Master 30 CNC because that then it resolved the production side of it. And those two machines in themselves become almost an entire processing plant, helping mitigate labour loss and, uh, and also quality control is the biggest thing. Everything that comes out of those two machines is made to perfection to the millimetre. The bamboo forest was a, an interesting job because as a, a close friend of mine and we wanted to do something very special and unique for his place and uh, the printed glass it can provide you with uh, an extra dimension and a, a really unique effect. He had designed the rainforest and we, we worked out together the way to lay it out and then adding the mirror to the recess to the wall helped create a whole new element of depth uh, and immersion that you could never create with anything else like that. It came together well and it provides a, a pretty unique and stunning effect. The thing about the Elwood residence is that it was a very unique job with very specialised requirements. We spent a lot of time setting up samples and consulting him and his wife about what they wanted as an end result. It took probably six weeks to get their heads around each of the situations for the applications of glass because there's a lot of it throughout the house. In the end, he's extremely happy with what we supplied and the products and how everything works. So it was a good result. If you have one of these and one of these, you're a functioning glass manufacturer. I can make enough glass out of these two machines to run several businesses and to have this business expand a couple of times over and these machines probably still won't be running at their capacity. The speed that I can turn products around in is unprecedented in the glass industry. The John Wardle Architects job was a really interesting job. I mean, they're a very well-renowned architect firm and obviously having their own offices have uh, an extremely high attention to detail. Obviously, they wanted a fairly grand entrance and, you know, I believe that was created, but in the glass side of things, the sheer size of the door and of the, uh, the side panel uh, pose their own complexities in manufacturing and installation. I got an opportunity to spread my wings and expand without huge restrictions and by you know working for years and, and developing newer ideas and new concepts through different machineries, through different jobs, uh, really gave ourselves a good base to, to build from. And my father wouldn't have invested you know, our money and the company's money in plant and equipment if he didn't have a belief that it was going to work. We'll continue on the same path that we have uh, walked for the last 10 years, I guess for the next 10 years. Keep on uh, pursuing new ideas and new dreams into the future.